the Hatton's Grace Hurdle is next. It's a two and a half mile grade one. And at the top we've got Cat Iron for Leon Van Rensburg X Adventure. Darren Thompson, Fall of a Judge, Josh Sutherland, Jan Books, Jolly, Padre Hogan, Marfell, Remo, David Robertson, Apache Drums, Leon Van Rensburg, Beach Breeze, David Hooley, Big Penny, Craig Beckwith, Last Word, David Hooley, and Raging Thunder for Josh Sutherland. So a field of 10. What a big field for a Group 1, Grade 1 this season, and called in and away. The Irish rain continues to fall. As it always seems to do. We head towards the first of the ten. And it's like Maffle Remo in the pink and the sky blue. It's going to be the one that leads them over the first. They're pretty tightly packed. Chock in for position to see where they want to be at this stage of the race. And you can see it's a fairly long one to the first of the ten. But they finally got there. And Maffle Remo is a clear leader there. Leading by two or three to Raging Thunder. Jam Box Johnny in the yellow. With Cat Iron in the blue. And the two purple clad horses, Beach Breeze and Last Word. Oh, the one is still on the track. The other one runs big second horse, Apache Drums is after that one. With four of the judges, the second Joshua Sutherland on his inside. Big Penny and X Adventure at the back. So the big two have both got two in this as so they get two the second. In fact, the big three. I've got two in this, I think it's David Hooley. Isn't that far behind in third? This is a good start to the week. It was a good start to the day today. And fourth place, Darren Thompson. Isn't doing so bad either. He's at the back of this one. So everybody's in this one, really. And Craig currently in fifth as well. So we've got the top five trainers in this, I think. David Robertson may well be sixth, so he may have a top six. Which is what we should have for a grade one. As they get to the fourth. And they skip over that one. Nicely with Maffle Remo. We leader by about four lengths. To Cat Iron in second. And then Fall of the Judge and Jam Box Jolly. Regal Thunder, last word. They get over the fifth. I was wondering whether the name of some of these horses, but I'm naming mine sometimes. The letters don't actually register, and I have to go back and double check. And when I see horses, I saw one yesterday called Dacula, which I'm thinking might be supposed to be called Dracula. The one today, Cat Iron. I wonder if that's supposed to be called Cast Iron. And the S didn't come out. I don't know, maybe Cat Iron's a thing, I don't know. But one of these things you ponder. Or watching these races, where the names have come from. And, uh, they, my setup, well, I'm naming them sometimes, the letters don't come out, it doesn't look totally right at all. And all over the sixth, and Maffle Remo is the clear leader. Almost certainly a computer generated name, that one. Four of the judges, second, last word is third. Patty Drums and Beach Breeze, and Raging Thunder and Jam Books Jolly, X Adventure Cat Iron, and finally Big Penny as they get over the seventh. David Robertson will probably post in the forums tomorrow that Maffle Remo is his favourite Mexican drawing band or something, and it's not a made up name at all. But whatever it's called, it's being challenged now by the last word. Patty Drums. On the outside is third, and the southern pair on the inside will be careful they don't get boxed in. Raging Thunder and Fall of the Judge. Beach Breeze on the outside. These five have pulled clear of the rest of them, although Jambox Jolly is trying to get closer as they get over the eighth, and Jambox Jolly has now joined that leading group. And it's still Muffle Remo in the lead. Jambox Jolly is absolutely flying around the outside. Apache Drums and Last Word in the leading four now. As Beach Breeze, Fall of the Judge and Raging Thunder find it difficult to stick with that leading four. As they head down towards the final two flights, it's Apache Drums who's now got the lead. From last word in second, Apache Drums skips over that, gets away from it well, and starts to pull away now. Apache Drums 
Jam looks jolly, he's trying to go with him. So to his beach breeze, Mathel Rimo's trying to respond. Apache drums in front, just starting to tie up a little bit, getting lonely on its own. There's less than a furlong to go. They come down on a final flight. Apache drums against everybody, stopping completely. And four of a judge has come from nowhere to take this one. Four of a judge is going to take him, raging from the second one, two for Joshua Sutherland. Its adventure was third. Apache drums, nothing, and he came under pressure at all. Like it was. He had to win that and just stopped. And four of the judge takes it for Joshua Sutherland, who also takes second with Raging Thunder, and he extends that lead at the top of the trainer's title race. Ex Adventure for Darren Thompson, third. Apache Drums, Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. He must be disappointed with that one. Rated 50 pounds superior almost, and just didn't go through with his challenge at all. Big penny for Craig Beckwith was fifth.